hello everyone welcome back to our python uh, tutorial so to the last video we verified uh, how we can uh, uh, use the slicing operations like uh, i have a word so uh, i can uh, getting some specific information or filtering some kind of specific data in from a particular string and uh, and how do we use this the uh, the start and end The syntax is you need to provide the, what is the variable name and what is the starting index and what is the end index and how it has to increment the step whether it has to travel through one by one character or multiple character that we got to specify the third parameter. Okay, so here what we gonna do? I'm going to try a simple example here. Okay, so let's clear out everything. Here I'm we are going to perform an operation okay i'm going to get the get user email id okay and second step extract the name extract name from email id and then extract the host mail host and print the output okay so this is what we are going to do now so the first thing getting the input okay so email is my variable name and I'm going to get the user input which I'm going to use the input so the literal which I'm going to provide enter your email ID okay so provide some kind of colon okay done so what is the next step so i have a variable which holds the email and then we need to extract the name from the email id for example i have a, a email id called uh, john dennis at outlook dot com okay so username is just John Dennis. So, for example, this is my user ID. I'm going to take out only this particular scenario. I mean, the particular name. So, how are we going to do that? So, I'm going to fetch the name. So, I'm going to use a slice. So, the variable name is email. So, how are we going to do that? Basically, we need to provide the index here. So, since it is a user input, we don't know what is the data they are going to provide. So, we need to use the index. Okay. So how we can identify which is the username so if the data before that symbol that is a username okay so we need to find a way to get the index of the add symbol okay that is a starting position okay that's not sorry that's not a starting position that is the end position so I don't want to provide any starting because it has start from zero so I'll provide just a colon and then the end is email dot index of add symbol okay and I don't want to prove anything in this step okay uh, I'm not, we are not we don't know so what will happen so let's print the data and see whether the thing which is working fine okay let's run this and it will ask your username right uh, uh, just enter something here John Dennis at outlook.com see we are doing really good okay we got the name okay so the first operation is done so no issues over there then I need to take out the host name okay so then host provider so I going to use the slicer again but the way we are going to handling it because I'm not going to start from zero here because this the data which is starting from zero that is a username okay so let's see how we are going to do that starting is index from at because after at symbol it's considering as a host name so just take the index of it okay index of at symbol and up to the before dot I just want to take it only the outlook I don't want the dot com okay so 
starting is this and end is up to dot and I don't want to program anything here just give it a small give it a, a colon here again before we run into other things just try to print the host name to see the data is just run it and enter your email ID uh, John Dennis chat outlook dot com okay so what is happening so substring is not found okay what was that Okay, what <coughs> so what is happening? Okay, I don't want to put any step here. But you will skip as it is. Okay, and I'm going to run this and I'm going to use John Dennis at Outlook dot com. Okay, see what is happening here? It's taking at symbol also. Okay. So I don't want the at symbol, I just need the outlook. So what you can do is email that index it will which will take the data from here so you should not take add symbol so simple thing just add one into it so from add symbol it will add one more index then it will print the data let's try it now john dennis at outlook.com see looks good okay so we are good to go so then what we're going to say I'm going to see the final output okay so I'm going to use the output here output that's a variable name and uh, user user name is I'm going to use the formatter here and the host, the mail provider is the second one. Okay, so I'm going to print it now. So, uh, PRNTF printf. So, we know how to use the formatter. Okay, so output dot format, and you need to provide the variables. So, name, comma, host. Let's run this. Okay, my mail ID is John Dennis at Outlook dot com. Okay, so see the username is John Dennis and the mail provider is Outlook. Okay, so in case I have I wanted to uh, change the order. Okay, so here I want to place the second, and here I want to place the first variable. So it's not a big deal. You can mention the number here two and one okay so if you see the outcome john dennis dot out dot com say what is happening so email index of substring not found okay what is wrong here okay wrong so we should not use it should start from zero and one not from one and two so you have to provide one zero here and one here because always index starts with zero okay so let's run this john dennis at outlook.com see username is outlook and mail provider is john dennis this is not a proper example for that but i'm just trying to show you what will happen okay so 
you can you can you can place the uh, data based on the uh, index also so i'm going to put it if you don't provide anything it will keep it as a proper order the way how it is passed here it will take it from here okay you can simply provide zero one also that is also fine no issues with that okay so let's try something else uh, uh your email id is phil colson at gmail.com see username is phil colson and the mail provider is gmail okay just give it a try and try some different combination different different kind of examples okay and let me know if you guys need some more information or any clarifications and do let me know and uh, we'll see the next uh, video and the next video which we are going to cover uh, is the logical stuff okay so so far we covered how to install and id variable and the math operations and string we almost completed string so next thing is we are going to discuss about the logical okay See you in the next video. Thank you.